Hey guys, it's Muggy McGee and we are back with my Leicester City career mode. A huge game today against Arsenal. It's also the first game of the season, so it's going to be a very, very big game. A crucial three points are hopefully going to happen with this side. We do have Thorgan Hazard, Plattenhart, Christensen and Stark as our new signings. Before we get into the video, don't forget to smash a like button on this video if you want to see some more Leicester City career mode. Leave in the comments down below what position you predict I will finish the end of the season. I'm hoping for top 10. I'm not sure if I can do it. And who is this? QPR1 Ben Chilwell on loan. Reject that. So yeah, where do you think I'll finish? Leave in the comments down below. And don't forget to click that subscribe button for more FIFA content. Sorry that I've not uploaded too much the last few days. I've just been working a lot. Leeds won Andy King for 2.9 million. Um, 2.9 mil. Do I accept that? Yeah, we're going to sell Andy King. But we are not selling Jamie Vardy for 14.2. No, Jamie Vardy is our star man in this team. Along with Ian Acho up front. So we are not selling any of them. I don't think we do need to make any more signings. The team is pretty much prepared for the Premier League in my opinion. We have a very, very good team. A few young players in there. For example, Christensen, who look at that, he's rated 81. And he is he's like 20, 21, 22. So really, really good rating. We'll just simulate these. Gray is now 74. Amart is now a 76. And DD has just reached a 78. All really, really high potential players. And I'm hoping for a top 10 finish, as I do say. Because we have we do have a team now. We've got a solid team. Our defence are Christensen and Stark. They're fast. They're pretty young, so they will go up ratings. The only known thing, I think it's Stark who does have a buyout clause. We have sold Andy King. He was at our club for 10 years, and we have sold him... Two leads for 2.9 million. Slamani, Juventus has shown interest for 22 million. 22 mil. No, I'm saying no. He's a good super sub to have Slimani Cricket. I don't mind keeping him. 22 mil. I, again, I don't really know who we're going to buy with that amount of money. How much do we actually have? We've only got 7 mil as it is. So... I might just save that till January so we have a bit of a bit of cash to spend then. Hopefully we can sign some players. But here we go. Big game Friday night. In real life we did lose this game 4-3. So let's see if we can win on FIFA. This would be really, really big result if we can get our first win of the season away to Arsenal. They've obviously equipped well with Lacazette. How is Matty James worth more than Andy King? But Matty James, Newcastle wanted for 3.15 million. I'll reject him. He's young. He's 26. Just came back from an injury. And we have sold Shinji Okazaki to Hoffenheim for 7.7 .7 million. The board gave 5.5. So we do have a bit more money. So maybe after this Arsenal game, I will look through the transfers and see who we could sign for about 10 million. Um, there's a few young signings that we could perhaps get. As Spurs sell Eric Dyer to Inter for 31 million. Well, that's surprising, but here we go. The big game away to Arsenal. As I say, in real life, we did lose this 4 3. But look at our team Vardy, Iheanacho, Thorgan Hazard, and Didi, Abora, Mares, Simpson, Stark, Christensen, Plattenhart, and Kasper Schmeichel, who is already an 84 in goal. Let's see, four minutes and a half, world class, let's see how we do. And hopefully we can bag three points. Literally, the first six games are going to be so hard for me in this career. Just like Leicester in real life, we'll have like Man U, Man City. That Why was that a bit of a lag? Arsenal, it's it's a pretty, pretty hard run of fixtures. But let's see if we can get three points. No, no, no. I thought that was offside. 
is is world class just got so much harder. That was pretty solid to defend. I don't think I could have really done anything about that. And eight minutes, we are one 0 down. I I seriously don't think I could have done a lot about that. That seemed to just be really easy for them, and nothing really happened. So I assumed it was offside. But we are losing already. And like, look at this. What even is this? We are getting absolutely destroyed. Inacho. Oh, decent long range shot actually. Forces Ospina f to make a save. Inacho. Riyad. Good cross. Good cross. And it was offside. And it's half time and we're. We're playing appalling. There are two shots, two on target. Look at the possession stats, though. I, I don't really know what to change. Maybe pushing Thorgan up to a left wing and same with Riyad. And then these two are practically CDMs. But we could bring on maybe Moose or Sleman in a bit. But so far, it's been all Arsenal. And they deserve to be winning. Yeah, Ian Acho. Good ball to Mares. He looks like he's in. That's a peno, isn't it? Or not. Musa and Slamani for the last eight minutes. I've barely even had a shot. I don't really know what this is. Like... It's just been in the middle of the park the whole time. No, don't bounce to him. And it had... What a lucky bounce. What a lucky bounce just then. Oh my goodness. And honestly, I don't even know how much highlights I'm going to show because I fucking didn't even have a good shot that game. That was really, really annoying, actually. Three shots, two on target. Look how bad that is. That's not good enough. Absolutely shocking. And as I say, I don't even know how much I'll show of that because not a lot happened. They scored two lucky goals. And that's... All that happened. Really. All that happened. But we are going to end this episode here. Leave in the comments down below. Who do you think I should sign for 12 million? You can see that I perhaps do need to make some signings. Because that was shocking. 12 million is a decent amount for maybe a foreign player. I'm not sure about the Premier League because it's so overpriced. But maybe a foreign player. So leave in the comments down below. What position I should upgrade and change. Quickly simulate this and I'll show you my starting 11s just so you can sort of understand who perhaps needs changing. Indeed his marking and slide tackle has actually gone up which is nice to see. So this is my squad. Who do you think needs changing? Vardy, Iheanacho, Hazard, Ndidi, Abona, Mares, Simpson, Stark, Christensen, Platten, Arch, Michael. We did have three new players in there. And Stark didn't have the best of games in particular. He kept allowing Walcott to run away from him. But we do have a bid from Fulham for 10 mil for DeMar again. Rejecting that is one for the future, definitely. But hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, then smash the like button. And also click that subscribe button to my channel. But thank you for watching. And see ya.